Good morning, 47. Our Providence contact has shared the identity of the Shadow Client, a former mercenary and bodyguard by the name of Lucas Gray. His past is a black void, but our analysts are digging deep. Meanwhile, we've had a breakthrough of our own. Comparing the malicious attack patterns with global shipping and transportation routes, we've figured out how Mr. Gray and his paramilitaries move around the world undetected. They're using the distribution network of the Delgado Cartel, Colombia's biggest drug manufacturer. Clearly, Gray must have struck a deal with the Delgados. Consequently, if we can cripple the cartel, we can severely limit the malicious strike range. But to do so, we need to slay a three-headed serpent. Sociopathic cartel head Rico Delgado and his two closest lieutenants, PR guru Andrea Martinez and savant chemist Jorge Franco. With equal parts guts and guile, Rico Delgado runs a thriving billion-dollar criminal empire. The word is, the brutal and volatile cartel head is hell-bent on becoming the number one drug lord in the world. To achieve this, Martinez, a childhood friend of Delgado's, has been buttering up state leaders and decision makers, paving the way for an expansion of the Delgado Logistics Network, while the brilliant but aloof and antisocial Franco has been hard at work developing a new type of super cocaine. So, three of Colombia's most infamous crime lords inhabiting a decidedly hostile environment. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Colombia, 47. The remote village of Santa Fortuna awaits you deep inside the Colombian rainforest. An iron-fisted Delgado cartel rules over the village and its surroundings. Security around Santa Fortuna and the closed-off cartel compound is extremely tight. Armed Sicarios patrol the streets of the village, ready to enforce harsh punishments to those who do not comply. Rumors persist of hidden transportation cave systems connecting the village, the cartel compound, and the hidden coca fields beyond. It is a rare occurrence to have all three cartel leaders present in the village at the same time. Expect that all targets are protected by scrupulous killers armed with automatic weapons. Rico Delgado inhabits his fortified mansion on the outskirts of the village, while Andrea Martinez can be found in her village office or around Santa Fortuna itself. And Jorge Franco is engaged in development of a new drug in his field laboratory. Happy hunting, 47. Mr. Rodriguez, what can we do for you? I was supposed to have a quick meeting with Senorita Martinez. Do you know where she is? She should be back any minute now. Ah, perfect. Muchas gracias. Thank you for taking the time to see me. I understand you are very busy. Nonsense. I always have time for you, Mr. Rodriguez. What can I do for you? Well, it's these skeletal finds, you understand. 
The men have refused working on the site because of the burial site they've uncovered. I am taking care of that during my stay here. Don't worry. The shaman has so far been reluctant to help us out, but I'm convinced I can help him understand the... Uh, well... Uh, cultural and spiritual importance of the work we are doing. I'm very glad to hear that, Miss Martinez. The men are not lazy. They are perhaps a little superstitious, but any help you can get from the Taita would be able to take care of the problem. Consider it done. I'll see you at the site. Thank you very much. Uh-huh. Have you noticed how Andres has started working out and his deodorant and hair products? Yeah. He's definitely having an affair. Martinez wants to talk to the shaman so urgently. Why doesn't she just get him herself? She's got a lot on her mind. The construction of the new plant has been stalled for days now because of what they found there. She needs him to cleanse the place. But why do I have to go get him? So, Andrea Martinez wants the local shaman to do a spirit cleanse at the construction site. She's ordered her sicarios to summon him, against his will if necessary. I suggest you get involved, 47. After all, getting rid of bad influences is what you do best. <laughs> Scared of getting a rush from touching all the poisonous plants he grows in there? Or ruin your precious complexion or something? You better watch your attitude, boss. The Tai Tai has great spiritual power, and I respect our traditions enough not to screw around with that. Comprende? Well, parece. If you don't get him over the construction site, Martinez will feed us to the piranhas. And they don't give a shit about your traditions, you hear me? Crazy moment, friend. Let the sounds and lights of your song Another traveler finds his way here in search of a spiritual release. Come on in, my friend. You're free to join us. Everyone is I can't believe they can't see anything. That's kind of scary, man. It is nothing to worry about. They are communing with their spirit guides now. I look after their bodies. The guides after their minds. Yeah, I don't know. A friend of mine got roofied once. Kind of feels similar. There's nothing to be afraid of, amigo. Psh, I'm not afraid. It doesn't feel like it's quite right. I think it needs more starch. Yeah, more of that. I'll see what I can add to make it more to your tastes.
scatto e sul legno di tutte le anzi prima della a dei dati well I mean how poisonous can they be right it's fine Oh, this is not good. Oh, 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 wow. This is good. I don't oh, oh, man. Bad shrimps, perhaps? Do I know? Oh, man. This, this is going straight out to all my social channels. Hey, smile, bro. Hey, hey, hey. Taita, it's good to see you. May the spirits guide you to fortune. Thank you. I hope you won't take offense, but we were asked by Andrea Martinez to come here and talk to you about the cleansing ritual at the construction site. I see. Can you remind me about the details? Of course, Taita. The construction crew uncovered some old bones while digging out the foundation of the new treatment facility just outside the village. And the workers are now afraid to do more, worried that the spirits might become angry. Martinez has asked to meet you to discuss what to do. I'll be happy to meet with her. Keep those stories happy, man. Aita, good to see you here. The hermano sends his regards. The portion worked miracles. Wonderful. Welcome, Taita. Miss Martinez is waiting for you in her office upstairs. Go right in.
Hello. Well, well. The famous shaman decides to show up after all. I'm pleased to finally put a face to the myth. I was beginning to think you didn't exist, what with your not replying to any of my inquiries. I've been looking forward to meeting you, Miss Martinez. All right. I need you to get over to the construction site on the outskirts of the village. The workers there uncovered a pile of old bones and they've taken the opportunity to grab some undeserved recreational time. I need you to go over there as soon as possible and wave your magic wand or do an interpretive dance or whatever it is you do. I can do that. You can walk with me if you don't know the way. Otherwise, I'll see you there. Just don't take too long. I'm an important person and have many things to do. I will not wait around. Very well. I haven't been to the construction site in some time, actually. It'll be good to get to see the new equipment. It was certainly expensive. Do you know how hard it is to transport a cutting-edge brand new cement mixer and pourer around in the jungle? Very. I can only imagine. Lock up in Mala, and yet all of them work two hours. I'm happy you finally came around. Mr. Delgado will be pleased. I understand he's not an easy man to relate to. Trust me, I know exactly where you're coming from, and he can be quite volatile. You know, only a true chef Maybe has the buñuelos to mix up his buñuelos. Patient cheese, external and conversations. Between you and me, Rico could probably do with a spiritual cleansing himself. I'll see what I can do about that. Working with the Delgado business has advantages, Taita. I appreciate you have a lot of influence with the locals here. All we are asking for is a ritual to set the men at ease. You should be quick and painless, and I'm certain you're up for the task. One hand washes the other, if you know what I mean. I'll do my very best. Guys creep me out. The shaman is here for the cleansing ritual. Taita, so good to finally have you here. You have been sorely missed. Happy to be here. So, uh, here's the problem. We're digging some holes for the foundation work. Now, we come across these, well, bones, I guess. Turns out they're human, and the workers seem to think they're part of some old grave. Sounds likely. Yeah. So now, they're on strike. Won't work until the site is cleansed. But this is where you come in, you know? You think you can, you can help us out? I'll do my best. Excelente. Thank you so much. Muchísimas gracias. Do you do readings? No. Forget I asked. All right, Taita. The stage is all yours. Cleanse away. To the site is clean now. It was a beautiful ritual. Thank you. Excellent. A beautiful ritual. I could genuinely feel the spirits bless the worthwhile endeavor we are pursuing here. They're at peace now. Expertly moved onto the afterlife by your Taita. 
I am confident this is the end of it. Bueno, muchachos, time to get back to work. Let's warm up the new cement mixer. That beauty will cover up any human remains in seconds. Nobody will ever disturb the dead down there again. Nicely done. Looks like the foreman is going to tour the site and show some of the machinery to Andrea Martinez. This might be your chance, 47. How are you, sir? I am eager to get this site back on track, Mr. Rodriguez. I trust you know what is at stake here. Si, Senorita Martinez. I'm very much aware. I will drive the men hard to get things done in time. Excellent. Mr. Delgado needs to have the plant up and running very soon. It's vital for the business. I understand. Aita, muchas gracias for helping us settle down los espíritus. Spirits. The workers are not aware of the true purpose of the plant, correct? That is correct, Senorita Martinez. They believe it's a water treatment plant, as does everyone in the village. Of course, part of it will function as that. And the um, large-scale drug manufacturing section? How are you hiding that from them? We rotate workers on a regular basis, bringing contractors from Bogota and use trusted people. Mm -hmm. Everything is leak-proof. Good. It's important to me that the villagers believe this is for them. Como no, Senorita Martinez. The Delgado business is trying to help the village grow by building a new water treatment plant. And this is how you thank them? By doing nothing? Standing around? This thing will not build itself. Your families depend on you working so they can eat. This isn't helping anyone. Enjoying the break? I hope you realize there are consequences to this sort of behavior. I noticed some overtime requests, Mr. Rodriguez. It makes me wonder, since the workers have been idle for a week. Well, the local ones have, yes. The high contractors have been constructing a lot of the building parts off site. To make sure we hit the deadlines, I've asked them to work on it. I see. Enterprising and resort. Martinez is down. Good work.
I'm fine. I'm giving up, bro. There's no way we're finding a red box for a circuit board out here. I just said we drop it near him. Franco doesn't get it. His fancy fucking processing machine won't work. Fancy machine by ass. So, it sounds like the Delgado's helicopter pilot dropped a package over the jungle by mistake. A red box containing circuit boards for Jorge Franco's new cocaine processing machine. Hmm. Sounds like a workplace accident waiting to happen, providing Franco can get his machine working. It's a giant lump of metal inside a shed. Either way, the box is gone. Shit. What is it? I think you're right. I'm right on you. You should probably check that out. All right.
come. Time to bring Franco down to size. Huh? The machine is working now? Bravos. Oh, Franco will be pleased with that. Senor Franco, your machine is finally up and running. Come by and have a look. Ah, look at that. It runs again. Look at how smoothly it's running. This will change everything. Everything. We are suddenly overcome with joy. See? This is what happens when focus is applied alongside proper work ethics. This is the future, people. Well, why are they still standing here? Surely they can see the machine is working perfectly now. We have no need for them anymore. They are excused to go back home to their sad little lives in the village. That is all, guard. Please escort these people from the room. We want to be alone in here. All right, everyone. Why is Follow it still... Me. I'm not really I'm sure I have seen it. No longer will we have to deal with those people. <laughs> Todo. 
good. Mm hmm. I can't believe it. Oh, meeting Tree Power in a local bar in a tiny village like this. I mean, he's only the biggest celebrity tattoo artist in the world. Maybe he's here to see that Delgado guy we've been hearing about. Sounds like he's got money to spare. So, P Power, celebrity tattooist of Tattoo Torment fame, has come to Santa Fortuna. Presumably to work his magic on Rico Delgado, a known ink enthusiast. Sounds like an invitation to the mansion, 47. Are you feeling expressive? Ooh, could be. <gasps> Lucky guy. I wish I could afford one of his pieces. Ah, his work isn't that impressive. All he really seems to be doing is touch-ups and cover-ups of botched work on that reality TV show of his. Improving on stuff that looks like crap probably isn't too hard, you know? I think you're wrong. His line work is to die for. I still say he's a poser. Look at his sleeves. For crying out loud, those are obviously fake. Tell you what, let's go back to the bar and spy on him some more. I'll prove it to you. We're never gonna find that hostel on our own anyway. Fine by me.
I first tried it out, I thought that the combination of fish and cheese smelled a bit like armpit. But the aroma has grown up. That is Pea Power. Real name, Paul Powers. Celebrity tattoo artist and reality TV star. Mate, I'm telling you, I've been in some crazy shit before, but this takes the cake. Mm -hmm. You know where I'm supposed to be right now? The Delgado Mansion. Just knock on the front gate, they said. And then what? Walk in and tattoo the world's most notorious cartel boss. I can see how that's not easy. I heard he kills people. Just for fun. Imagine what he'd do to me if I messed up. Oh, sure, he's dangerous. But it's his wife you need to look out for, caballero. I'm a dead man. So exactly how dangerous is this Delgado character, really? How steady are your hands? I don't follow. Bueno, let me put it this way. If he or his wife isn't happy with your work, his hippo gets a free meal. That, that's terrible. Yeah, Dexy, it's me. Look, I'm in real trouble here. Call me back, all right? Mate, I'm telling you, this is the worst day of my life. Absolutely the worst. Is that so? Well, it's this Rico Delgado character, isn't it? I'm supposed to be on my way to do some sort of tattoo cover-up work on him. Could be worse. You could be lying dead in a ditch somewhere. Well, well, shit, that's the problem, isn't it? Did you know he runs the biggest drug cartel in Colombia? I've had experience with the Delgado family in the past, yes. He's one of the most dangerous men in the country. One false move, and I'm dead. I think you're right about that, sir. Dexy, it's me again. I think this drug lord is gonna kill me. If I mess up, he's going to kill me. You have to help me here. Call me ASAP. I'm thinking maybe I'll stay here until it gets dark and then try to sneak out of town without Delgado or his goon noticing. I took a few martial arts classes. I'm pretty stealthy. Mm-hmm. You don't say, sir. Get, get away from me! I, 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 I am... I am about to vomit. Mate, wait! What? Huh? Okay. Why don't you have anything else to drink? Gracias. 
You that p power guy? Hang on, man. I hope you don't mind, but we need to frisk you. I have to give you a pat down if you want to come through here, parcero. You're entering the lion's den, 47. Tread carefully. Practically everyone here is dangerous, not least Rico Delgado himself. Okay, All right, Mr. Power. Follow Go me to ahead. the house. Mrs. Delgado wanted to meet you. She's a big fan. She'll take you to Rico afterwards. Uh, the celebrity tattoo guy is here. So famous tattoo artist, huh? I put some ink on skin as well in my time. Of course, most of that was in prison and not always on people who appreciated the work. You know how hard it is to tattoo traitor on a guy's forehead while he's squirming around on the ground like a worm? Not easy, let me tell you. That's quite a story. You bet. That is Catalina Delgado, wife to Rico Delgado for the past 11 years. I'm gonna be dead honest with you. I've got my ex-girlfriend Margarita's name tattooed on my groin. And I wanna get a chance for something else. I just love your show. That episode where you tattoo the heart of the harm of the bad time policeman while they're administrating CPR, <laughs> it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. A great moment. I cherish the memory to this day. Oh, let's see. So, Rico has this tattoo on his neck and he insists it's supposed to be based on a photo of me. I'm not a fool, Mr. Powers. My nerves never looked like that, not even before the operation. And sure, I've had a few ticks done here and there, but nothing as drastic as that. I want you to make it look like me, not some young skank. I'll do my very best, Mrs. Delgado. Ah, oh, Chico, let me just grab a quick selfie with you, all right? Sure, why not? Yay! <laughs> just look this way. Oh, que si. Wow, we look so good together. This is great. Hey, babe. Hey, so far, babe. so good, 47. Now to leave your mark on Mr. Delgado. So... This is the famous P. Power, tattoo artist to the stars. Huh. You don't exactly look like you do on TV, do you? There's something different about you. Cariño, don't insult our guest. He's obviously not been sitting in a stylist chair for days, but this is P. Power. Who else would it be? Well, what about those cheekbones? The guy on TV didn't have cheekbones like that. Hey, Rico, enough. You know they fix all that in post-production. Just let the man work. Okay, fine. Whatever you say. Okay, I'm ready. Let's get this thing fixed. You are really getting on my nerves now. Oh, stop being so grumpy, Rico. I find your constant photography very annoying. Dear. I'm sorry that my social life is ruining your concentration. Whoa, hey, Rico, don't worry. I've got this under control. Hey, tattoo guy, I'm watching you. One wrong move, y la va a estar pidiendo. You hear me? Hey, listen, you're taking this new bodyguard job a little too seriously, Jose. Better safe than sorry, boss. You're making me nervous, Jose. Put that thing away. No, 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 I'm not willing to... You need to keep still, Mr. Delgado. I wouldn't want to stab you by accident. You heard the man, Catalina. Leave us now. Fine. Have it your way. But that tattoo better look exactly like me when you're done with your new BFF, Rico. Calm down, all right? Everything's okay here. Just doing what's necessary, Rico. Put the gun away. I'm fine. No way. I'm letting my guard down around a stranger, Rico. Hey, Jose, I need you to leave us alone now. You're too wound up right now. You understand? All right, boss, all right. But I'll be back in a little while if I don't hear from you, Guayuan. Oh, finally. So peace and quiet. Can I finish my work now? <laughs> do what you do best, man. You got it.
All targets neutralized. This should paralyze the cartel. Excellent work, 47. Now head for an exit. Hey, man, you done already? Feels like you just walked in a minute ago. Time flies when you're having fun. successful. Tactical targets neutralized. Militia transport network disabled. Location of primary target unknown. Team chasing several leads. End message. Encrypt and send. source checks out. We can prove the board knew about the chemical leaks. We'll have grounds for a retrial. It won't make a difference. They're too powerful. They're not the devil, Nancy. Just a company. They're not above the law, don't you see? This is bigger than James. Those bastards killed 80 people. And they got away with it. Think about what that means. No one's untouchable. No one's untouchable. Diana! Coming! We got what we came for. Move out. 